Hi travelers, Tara here and I'm going to be coming to you, hold on one second, I'm going to be coming to you today with the Elemental Earth, so this will be a general reading for, I'm sorry, Elemental Water, so um, this will be a general reading for all Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces individuals, okay? This is general and the um, reading will not resonate with everyone. Um, before I get started, my pants were falling down. <laughs> before I get started, uh, I want to make a couple of announcements. And the first announcement is that I am going to be opting out of the um, YouTube partner program. That's the one where you got the ads over the videos, you know. Um, they have changed it now and Google has taken over it with AdSense. Uh, Google did purchase YouTube some years ago. And I'm just not down with the terms and what's happening. Uh, I just don't feel right about it. So uh, with that being said, that means that there won't be any cards on the video. So do, if you remember when I tell you to click on the eye and that'll take you directly over, I will no longer be able to, you will no longer be able to do that. So um, if you are interested in a reading, what you can do is here on the bottom of the screen, I will insert my uh, website address, but you can also find it in the about box section of my channel that's first okay now the second thing is is that March is um, we have hosted uh, we had a full moon already we've got a, a new moon coming up I don't know exactly what day let me check right quick and then uh, at the end of the month we will have a another full moon so if you've ever heard that phrase once in a blue moon uh, this will be a blue moon and a blue moon simply says that there are two moons full moons in one month so our new moon will be uh, changing from Pisces into Aries on March 17th and then March 31st we will have hold on another full moon and that full moon will be in the sign of Libra now in addition to that on March 21st it is the spring uh, equinox the first day of spring and two days after that, Mercury will be going retrograde. And I think he retrogrades into Aries. Website members, I did post the um, transit watch. Um, please check your charts. This is a really, uh, Pisces weather is very, very heavy. And what I mean by that is that there are a lot of, there's a lot of planetary activity going on in the sign of Pisces, okay? Um, what else did I want to explain to you? Oh, yes. I'm going to be um, bringing you a flash sale, which starts on Thursday and ends Friday at midnight. It will be the Straight No Chaser reading. Um, if you've already read about that, everything's going to apply where you get to choose the deck. However, the time frame will change. It will not be such a long reading. Um, I have to do that in the interest of time so that I can get you know as many people in as who, who can book a reading. Um, this will be on a first come first serve basis um, and it will only be you know that one day so if you miss that sale that time you'll have to wait till the next time so if you're interested in um, getting a straight no chaser reading you can book that so by the time you read this I will have all of that stuff up I'm also going to be bringing you as a regular product a burning question reading and um, this is a 30 minute one or two question reading okay uh, the burning question um, and uh, that's going to be something that I will uh, make a permanent thing because I took the 30 minute reading away um, I might even make it a 20 minute reading I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go but it is going to be called the burning question so just kind of look for that when you see it now that being said we're going to do a mini cross reading um, and try to get an idea of well Right off the bat, the Three of Wands has uh, popped up. And the time frame is March. Well, <laughs> isn't that something? March 21st till April 10th. Now, that's an interesting time frame because I just told you that the first day of spring is March 21st. But then you got to remember that on the 23rd, Mercury is going to retrograde and it's going to retrograde in Aries. Okay? Okay. So, um, as usual, uh, with Mercury retrograde, there are going to be some slowdowns, some confusion, just a whole bunch of mayhem can occur. 
uh, things breaking down, uh, communications uh, being misconstrued or not coming in at all, emails lost, text messages not working right, phones not working right. Um, and if you have to sign any, uh, and I, I do sense that some of you are, 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 are looking to move forward and in a way you have kind of pinpointed that time frame when you're going to make your move this could be uh the three of wands is the card about it's the start of something something starting uh for some of you water sign individuals uh and um this is about uh putting your ships out to sea um setting your your, your ships a sail um and in order to do that you know you have to wait for them to get there and then wait for them to come back. Well, on the way back, do they even come back or did your cargo arrive safely? Was somebody attacked by pirates? Um, did you actually make the money or, or accomplish the goal that you had set out to do by casting your, setting your ships a sail? Um, and threes are always the start of something. So I, I want to bring your attention to that around this time frame, some of you may get some kind of partnership offer around this time frame. Threes are always the start of something. So some kind of negotiations or sale, uh, sales or even travel uh, coming in, but it's going to call fall right under the Mercury retrograde, okay? So I want you to be cautious. You can't stop living your life because the planets are doing something funky, but what you can do is, is be a bit more aware, uh, uh, perhaps a bit more uh, circumspect uh, in terms of what it is that you're trying to do. So if uh, around this time frame, some of you discover that you're going to have to sign a contract or some new partnership offer comes, please, please, please read the fine um, details, okay? The fine print. By the same token, if there's something that you have put off, some work project or some some something that you had wanted to start, but you've been kind of pushing it to the back burner, now will be a time to dust those plans off okay and uh, tweak that a little bit so that once mercury um goes direct and i think that's around april 15th so we're looking at an eight week time frame um once he goes direct uh you want to be able to go ahead and implement those plans okay so mercury retrograde is always a good time to go back over some things uh that may not have been you know that polished or that exciting or that whatever the case may be um, and to do some reassessment of it, look it over, change some things, work on some things, do some research, focus all of that uh, energy inward on how can I make this better or more palatable or more marketable or more attractive, whatever the case may be, and uh, work on that, okay? And then you can move forward with your plans after Mercury comes out of retrograde. And I, I would caution some of you, for some of you, it's this, this, this time it's the sun in Aries. Uh, and so what we're looking at, a lot of times people will try to go get cosmetic surgery or get their hair or cut their hair or dye their hair or change their makeups or change their wardrobe. Well, you know, if particularly if this is about cosmetic surgery, um, if, if the date's already been set, you know, the date's already been set. But if you've been contemplating it, Around this time frame between March 21st and April 10th to the 15th, I would caution you to wait. Never ever do you want to do any kind of surgery, even if it's like getting your teeth fixed or LASIK surgery or anything like that. Uh, you know, you want to go have laser hair removal. Uh, don't do it under a mercury retrograde. <laughs> okay, there is a better time. Nobody's saying you can't do what you want to do. But, you know, it, it's a better time frame for you to do it. Mercury, uh, a lot of doctors and surgeons have a mercury, um, a prominent mercury in their charts. So that's that. Now let's see what the rest of the uh, cards have to say. Mini cross. So this is our focus. And this is definitely something coming up for, for uh, you guys. Here we have the Queen of Cups. So there's our water sign. And this is going to cover Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. And this is our foundation. This is what is at the root of the issue. So whether same-sex or heterosexual, here is the Five of Pentacles. This is uh, an influence from the past. There's our Pisces card, Neptune. 
This is the unknown factor. And here is the Knight of Wands. Now, those of you who have been with me a while know that under Mercury Retrograde, projects come back, uh, offers come back, and old lovers come back. Okay? Now, I'm, I'm giving you the heads up that something is coming and some kind of offer or partnership or negotiation is going to be put to you. It's something that will be coming back around. But I caution you to um, really, really trust your intuition on this um, be, and to move as slowly as you possibly can uh, because of all of that stuff that's going on in Pisces. I, I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, the hanged man represents a, a momentary suspension, uh, but it also brings with it a bunch of confusion uh, and it brings with it uh, hidden things. So these could be old enemies, past life enemies coming out of the woodwork. Uh, these could be people coming in that have an uh, ulterior agenda or and or motive. It is also can be asking you that if, you, if this offer sounds attractive to you, uh, but you get kind of a queasy feeling, then what is it that you think you can get out of it? You may have an ulterior motive, okay? Um, so you want to be very, very careful around this time frame. Underneath the deck is uh, the Queen of Wands. Now, interestingly enough, this represents a fire sign element. We have two fire sign elements. So this could be uh, roughly uh, about the the um, Mercury retrogrades uh, in Aries and Sun in Aries. Uh, this also could be a, a female um, fire sign individual coming back perhaps with some kind of partnership. This could also be a female fire sign individual who's coming back to wreak some havoc, get some payback. Um, Know that if this is this Knight of Wands, if this represents a male, know that just as fast as this person comes in is just as fast as he can leave. And he's attached to this Queen of Wands here. Okay. Now, um, I don't have any uh, repeater numbers. And I do have two court cards here. So for the Queen of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Now, traditionally, uh, most tarot card readers will read this as an uh, individual, uh, in which case it would be a younger uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius individual. It could also represent a child. Um, but I always read the Knights as events. That's always how it, it reads to me. Now, whatever this event is, it can be precip uh, precipitated by the return of someone, okay? It's just the simple fact that the person showed up that makes this an event, all right? So let me take a look at um, what this, there's only um, two pip cards that I can look at, the five of pentacles and the three of wands. Now, uh, something else that I'm seeing here, this five of pentacles can be that card of, you know, money having been very, very tight for a while and you having to conserve. It's, it speaks to uh, Mercury and Taurus. And that time frame is April 21st. Okay. So you can see the cards are really trying to get your attention that this time frame that's going to be coming up um, could be quite confusing, uh, could be making you feel rather isolated, but that something is going to change through some kind of meeting, offer, partnership, return. Okay. So it's bringing your attention to this. It is the hanged man energy. All right. That is, you know, most important. If you are not a website member, as I say, you can join for 30 days and you get your two free charts. And every week I post transits and there are articles there for you to read about. And if you still don't understand, you can always ask me questions. Um, and it is worth the $7. I'm, I'm not kidding you. There's so much information on the website. Um, let's take a look at the two pip cards. These are the only two cards I can look at in relation to this hanged man. All right. Hold on. I got so much stuff. So many damn windows open. I'm looking for another car. I, I finally just bit the dust and <laughs> and uh, 
got rid of my Jeep. That was really difficult for me. And I'm always the one to tell you, you can't get nothing new if you hang on to something. Oh, I did not want to let that Jeep go. So anyway, here we go. We're going to take a look at the Three of Wands because this is our focus right now. And I honestly, honestly feel that for some of you, you have something new has presented itself. And for others of you, this thing that has presented itself is an offer that has come back around. Now, whether this offer is... Um, related to an old lover coming back or a job or a work project you know every story is going to be different right everybody's got their own story now the three of wands is a three and threes in a reading suggest that more than one person is involved and can also suggest that there will be a period of suspended activity before future successes are realized it suggests that the end is in sight and only a little bit more is left to do. It suggests the tying up of loose ends and of someone who is coming to terms with past thoughts and who purposefully creates positive thoughts. Uh, it implies that progress is very much dependent upon luck. Although a positive beginning has been made, there is every reason to be optimistic about the future. Right, because this could actually be you. If you've been working on something and you you know waiting for it to come to fruition that time frame is coming uh, on a business and financial level the three of wands may be a message that seeds sown in the past will prosper and come to positive fruition it asks that you remain positive and willing to work the focus is on cooperation and business opportunities this indicates a time of activity and moving forward now this is what would be so interesting to me is that while mercury is in retrograde there's there can be a, a lot of potential for confusion confusion confusing messages but then with Neptune here that's gonna make it sometimes a bit even more confusing okay um, it says the three of wands when appearing may be indicating that someone of sound knowledge may be available to offer the assistance needed keep an open mind and ear right so that's why I'm not telling you to disregard the return of something or you know but do your research uh, the three of wands in a spread may be indicating that the right partner or teammate will bring about a positive energy which which will enhance and bring about success on many levels uh, it can tell of being a good friend and of someone who is willing to give help and assistance it tells of cooperation which will plant the seed for growth and success because I think many of you have, might have been struggling uh, in some way shape or form um, it asks it indicates that you will feel pleased with how things are going but should remember those who help to make it possible I'd ask that you remain optimistic but should concentrate only on aspirations and goals that can be realized in order to avoid disappointments because you maybe got your head all up in the clouds and not being realistic about where what it is you're trying to do it tells of having more than one outlet for your endeavors and signifies inner strength and power this is the three of wands it tells of someone knowledgeable that can give you the help you need so now is the time to ask I'm telling you if you gotta ask for something you wanna do it now and I've seen this card sometimes when you've been turned down for a loan uh, so there is no indication of what this means next to the hanged man so what I'm gonna do now is look at the five of pentacles First, I'm going to see if it's sitting, if it tells me anything sitting next to this hermit card. I'm sorry, this uh, hanged man card. It does not. So let me give you these uh, little meanings here. And I think you're going to be surprised by some of them. So, okay. Fives always indicate a time of changes and upheavals and ups and downs. Um, hold on. It, it's it, it speaks to outside influences that come in that you really have no control over I don't know why I can't find what I'm looking for so just bear with me a second maybe it's no it's just the way it's it's put together okay so the meaning of the card is an indicate there's a fo focus on financial or personal difficulties. You may experience problems at work that may cause concern regarding your financial security. Or you may be spending too much time worrying about things that may never come to pass. Wasting energy and resources that could be better spent elsewhere. 
Uh, it can be an indication of problems in a, uh, in a relationship that arise from arguments about money or because infidelity is suspected. Um, five is the number of freedom of expression of self and freedom in all aspects and often falls into the clutches of variety when it comes to their love or sex life. Um, it can tell of feelings of hopelessness, defeat, and despair, unemployment, financial difficulties, and the inability to find material and emotional security are indicated by the Five of Pentacles. Um, it sits, uh, suggests that uh, the situation may be alleviated or overcome with the support of a close friend or family member or a community support system such as a church or governmental agency. It tells of a temporary loss of income, therefore a decline in lifestyle and self-respect. This may be on a financial level as well as emotional and it indicates that while struggling to keep hold of what one has, you actually risk losing everything. Okay. It is also a warning of a loss of faith in oneself and in life and that there is often a greater loss than financial ones. Um, it suggests financial loss and emotional hardship and there is also an implication that the loss has been brought about by one's own hand. Okay, because this card can be really self-sabotaging. And remember, no matter what situation you find yourself in, and according to the hangman, remember the hangman put himself in that position. Nobody did it to him. He hung himself there. Okay. <clears throat> um, problems and hardships brought about oneself is an uncomfortable position to be in, but it does provide a basis for starting over. Uh, bearing in mind the pitfalls of the past, one will therefore be better equipped to restart or tackle the problem differently next time around. And that's what this night can be about. Uh, the Five of Pentacles can suggest that you have overlooked or missed something in the details of your plans. Why? Because you're rushing around and you're not everything's kind of foggy or you're so worried about how you're going to get caught up on your bills you know you're, you're absolutely missing something uh, the five of pentacles tells of a time when you must review your goals plans and lifestyle choices as things are not as positive as they should or could be it is a time to reassess your position and reassess your wants and needs and that is what mercury retrograde is all about reviewing and reassessing it may be implying that you feel confused discouraged it is a message to stand strong regardless as better is on the way, don't give up. Um, it may be uh, pertaining to a legal case or issue and implies that you may not be successful and may incur cost or suffer a loss. Um, it may be telling of someone who is anxious over money, poverty, and lack in general. It may also be implying that someone is about to give in and give up because of a feeling of defeat or failure, although in reality, success is just around the corner. It indicates a dark night of a soul type situation. You are asked to maintain your spirit and faith in yourself and the universal energies. It tells of a feeling of destitution and there is urgent need to look around you and take the appropriate action to bring about positive change. There is more to life than you realize. Uh, you, the, the Five of Pentacles is a message to use all opportunities wisely. Adaptability will be the key to your success. It speaks about an alliance, friendship, or partnership, bond, or affinity with another, which has formed through shared and similar life experiences and through facing adversity and similar troubles in life. Maybe um, it also uh, speaks to the appearance of a variety of obstacles, setbacks, or feelings of lack and loss. It may indicate economic and financial difficulties. A realistic check of current circumstances is needed. It can also be telling you that your health and well-being needs uh, to be looked after because they've been neglected as of late. Uh, more care and attention is needed at this time. Uh, if you are finding yourself progressing negatively to please seek professional attention and advice, um, you may find that your condition or probably can be easily dealt with and that prevention is really uh, better than a cure. So for some of you, you might need to get a medical checkup. Okay, it asks that you take care of yourself in all ways. It's Mercury and Taurus, and Taurus rules the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is about self-esteem and self-care, about doing what it takes to put yourself in a solid position on all levels. All right, so that's what I have for you. What I'm going to do now is pull cards on this... Um, you know, and if you haven't been struggling uh, with this Mercury retrograde that's coming up, uh, I would suggest that you uh, pay very, very close attention because things are changing. Uh, Uranus is about to move into Taurus, 
in May and already you're seeing all of this foolishness on the stock markets. Now, the majority of you people don't have enough money to buy stocks, right? But just because you don't have uh, money in the stock market doesn't mean you can't be affected by the price of the stocks, okay? Because when companies lose money, uh, they got to make it up some kind of way. Uh, when they make money, are they uh, paying it forward or not? So, um, Mercury rules sales and negotiations. Taurus rules uh, uh, hierarchical organization. So this could be uh, governmental, uh, working for the government. This could be working in a hospital. It could be working at a university. It could be working at a school. Um, it can speak to all sorts of things. Okay, uh, we just saw the West Virginia teacher successfully stage a strike and which is I think a what they call it a wildcat strike and the reason why they call it that is because um, collective bargaining power was done away with um, under George Bush when the Republicans came to power they got rid of all of the you know the UAE the steel workers the teachers associations the firemen that they got rid of all of those things you know and people still but still people still gotta eat right <laughs> okay <clears throat> So just because you don't have, like I said, just because you don't have uh, money in the stock market doesn't mean you can't be affected by, by world markets. doesn't mean that. Now, obviously there has been, this is a discovery of some sort. Um, and we get a, a message from far away, but we have not heard the answer back. Remember I said this could be about a loan? You know, maybe you've been turned away by that organization, that governmental agency. Let me, um, or that financial assistance, maybe you put help out and you thought about it and you sent the letter out, but you know, nobody's, you haven't heard anything back. Um, and I would dare say uh, this may be true or so concerning um, the Mercury retrograde coming up. I'm going to look at the hanged man. Now, what I'm seeing is some kind of obsessive attachment to a situation. This is the desperate jealousy. This could also be that idea, that concept that you don't see a way out. Remember, you put yourself in that situation. There's always a way out. Um, here is the militare. Now, this is the card of a relationship with law enforcement. It also applies implies uh, getting caught or implies that um, some stop has been put to something. Now, I'm not exactly sure because what came to me, and I never get this, could be the idea of, of someone wanting to harm themselves and hurting themselves and the the um, police having to be called to stop them right now because they really are in a position where they feel they can't get out of it. I never get that. And here's the La Reunione. Now, this card is about a meeting. Uh, this card is uh, also could be about reunions with people. Um, it could also be about a job interview. Okay? So there are lots of connotations coming up there. I'm just going to go ahead quickly and pull cards on this uh Knight of Wands to see what he's trying to tell us because whatever this thing is, it's coming in a hurry. Okay. Uh, almost as if you're not even paying attention when it shows up. All right. And then maybe some of you have felt that desperate jealousy card. I just think you you feel stuck in a situation that you you can't get out of. Or you don't you don't understand why the situation isn't moving. Fortuna, the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the thing about Fortuna is the reason why she's pictured with the rudder of the ship is because she's about steering other... This is about sometimes other people steering your destiny. They don't even know that they're doing it by something they do, they offer, they say, okay? But it's also... It represents the Wheel of Fortune. So if you've been feeling down 
and things haven't been going your way, know that things will be picking up, okay? Someone's sensitivity is their lightness of being. So this could be you coming out of a very, very dark phase. Um, and what's funny is that with this Mercury retrograde and all of the Pisces activity that's happening, it's almost like, um, I don't want to say that it's almost like you might be protected in this in some way, because no matter what, you, you don't want to just go willy nilly off without doing your research and reading the fine print, right? But even still, let's see what the last card is. Right. And there's the melancholia, the sadness and the depression. So something coming in quite swiftly that may offer you an opportunity, but there may be something about it that is disappointing or saddening in some way. Okay. And that's that energy of Pisces that I was talking to you at the very beginning about those hidden enemies, people coming back to get payback from you um, and you don't see it coming. So, you know, for everybody, this is, um, and I don't care what sign you are, um, even if you don't have anything at the house of Pisces, if you've got something in the, in the sixth house, uh, the 12th house is opposite the sixth house. If you've got something in the sixth house, then there's going to be some kind of opposition. So it may not be exactly personally you, it could be somebody that you're dealing with. Okay. Now formulate one question for the angel answer cards. And then one question for the Romance Angels. And your reading is a little bit longer than everybody else's. But I did that because of all that Pisces activity that's happening. We've got Jupiter in Scorpio. Um, we've got the North, not the North Node and the South Node. There's something happening in the House of Cancer in the fourth house. If you don't have your chart, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. And... You can't just pull out the regular, any old chart that you've done. I create you as a member. I create you a specific chart. Uh, one that I only use, you can only get from my website. So, communicate clearly. Romance angels. Something's definitely coming, water signs. Now, it's not for everybody, you know, it depends on what you got going on, but again, partnership. So if it's not you, it's going to be somebody, you know, that you are within partnership with or could be in partnership with. And partnership means family, friends, uh, business, colleagues, past, present, potential partners, enemies, rivals, and foes. So it could be just as easily as it could be somebody who's there to help. You could be just as easily somebody who's out to get you. <laughs> okay. deception and that's that hangman energy someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship let's go to the book communicate clearly this situation requires very precise and careful communication don't assume that others involved understand what you want or need from them in-person discussions are preferable and we saw that there's no discussion there uh, but if that's not possible, make sure that your communication method is very thorough. So Mercury Retrograde is all about going within and thinking about what you want to say, crafting it. If it takes five times, write it out five or six times until you get the wording right. You'll know when it's right. This card can indicate that there has been a miscommunication that is creating a challenge for the parties involved. By clearing up any understandings, you can heal the situation so that everyone can start moving forward again. Now... The deception card. This card is a loving nudge for you to beware of deception within a relationship. This could involve something mild such as run-of-the-mill politeness where your partner is afraid of offending you by sharing their true feelings. Perhaps you're the one wearing the mask because you aren't disclosing something to your partner. Deep down, you know what this card pertains to. The romance angels are trying to protect your heart. Please, uh, so they ask you to say out loud, I'm going to read this slowly. Romance angels, I ask that you give me very clear guidance that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness. I will read that again. Romance angels, I ask that you give me very clear guidance 
that I can easily notice and understand to reveal the truth about this situation to my conscious awareness and then notice and trust the signs that follow. This card is also a reminder to you about the importance of being genuine with your partner. Although discussing your true feelings may be uncomfortable, it will improve your relationship on many levels. That's what I have for you, Water Signs. I do hope those messages help you uh, coming through March. Uh, be aware uh, and trust your intuition and ask your angels to help you. So next time, namaste.